Our objective in this lesson is to solve problems involving simple interest. In our previous lesson, we have learned these terms and their definitions. Let us continue to define some more terms. First one, maturity or future value, denoted by capital letter F, is the amount of money after T years that the lender receives from the borrower on the maturity date. Another definition, it is the principal amount plus the interest. Next one is the time or term denoted by a small letter T. It is the amount of time in years the money is borrowed or invested. It is also the length of time between the origin and maturity dates. Next one is the lender or creditor, a person or institution who is lending the amount needed by borrower or debtor. Borrower or debtor is a person or institution who owes the money and will be paying back the debt plus the interest. Simple interest is based on three factors. Principal amount, simple interest rate usually expressed in percentage, and the time or term. It is given by the formula I sub S is equal to PRT, where I sub S is the simple interest, P is the principal, R is the interest rate that should be expressed in decimal, and T is the time or term that should be expressed in year or years. Here is interest triangle. I have your I, P, R, and T. Suppose I want to solve for the value of I. Let me cover the I first. And I have here P, R, T. Therefore, I is equal to P, R, T. Interest is equal to the principal amount times the rate times the time. What if I'm looking for P? So let me cover P. So I have here on top I, and then this one is the fraction bar, and then RT at the bottom. So divided by RT. So P is equal to I divided by RT. What if I want to solve for R? So let's cover R. So I divided by PT. And if I want to solve for t, let us cover t. So I have i divided by pr. First example, a cooperative offers 3.5% annual simple interest rate. How much interest will Adam earn if he deposited 1 million pesos for one year? So first, let us identify what we have here. So we have 3.5%. So this is our rate. Remember to convert the percentage into decimal form. So let us move our decimal point to places going to the left. So this is equivalent to 0 0.035. And then how much interest? So we're looking for the I sub S. Will Adam earn if he deposited 1 million pesos? So 1 million is the amount deposited or amount invested. So this is our principal amount, P. For one year, so our T is 1. Let's bring out our triangle. We are solving for I sub S. So let us cover I. So I is equal to P R T. Let us substitute what we have here. Our P is 1 million. Our rate is 0 0.035 and our time is 1. Solving for this, I have 35,000 pesos. So this is the simple interest. Follow-up question. Interest in savings account in this cooperative is subject to a 15% withholding tax. If 15% withholding tax will be applied, how much is the actual interest earned? So we're going to multiply 35,000 to 15%, which is 0.15, and this is equal to 5,250. And then we are going to subtract this because this is the withholding tax. So 35,000 minus 5,250 is equal to 29,750 pesos. So this is the actual interest interest earned by Adam from depositing 1 million pesos. Second example, after three years, Wesley found out that his money earned an interest of 7,500 pesos. He knew that the annual interest rate is 4%. How much money did he originally invest? So let us identify what we have here, three years. So this is our time found out that his money earned an interest of 7,500. So this is the interest. This is the I sub S. 
He knew that the annual interest rate is 4%. Don't forget to convert this into decimal form. So our R is 0 0.04. How much money did he originally invest? Originally invest, original amount of money. So we are looking for P. Let us bring out our triangle. Since we are looking for P, let us cover P. So P is equal to I divided by RT. Let us substitute our values here. So 7,500 divided by 0 0.04 times 3 is 62,500 pesos. So this is the principal amount of Wesley. Let's have another one. You and your siblings decided to renovate your house. So you apply for a loan amounting to 300,000 pesos in a bank. The simple interest of which is 40,000 pesos for 18 months. What is the interest rate being charged? So let's see what we have here. You are applying for a loan amounting to 300,000 pesos. So this is our P. The simple interest is 40,000 pesos. So this is our I sub S, 18 months. So this is our time. Don't forget to convert this in years. So let's multiply this by 1 over 12. Months and months will be canceled out. So 18 times 1 is 18 divided by 12 is 1.5 years. What is the interest rate? So we are looking for R. Let's bring out our triangle. Solving for R, let us cover our R. So R is equal to I divided by PT. Let us substitute our values here. 40,000 all over 300,000 times 1.5 is 0 0.089. But don't forget to express this in percentage. Let us move our decimal point to places going to the right. So our R is 8.9%. Next one, Vito wants an interest that is double his current money. A cooperative offers a 5% simple interest rate. How long should he invest his money? So Vito wanted an interest that is double his current money. But the current money is not given. That is also the principal amount. So an interest that is double, double means twice. So our I is equal to 2P. P is the current money or the principal amount. So our P is still P. We have a rate of 5%, 1, 2, so that is 0 0.05. How long? So we are looking for the time. Let's bring out our triangle. We are solving for T, so let's cover T. Therefore, T is equal to I divided by PR. Let us substitute our values here. P and P will be canceled out. 2 divided by 0 0.05 is 40. So it will take 40 years before Vito will have an interest that is double his current money. Now let us talk about maturity or future value. As defined earlier, maturity or future value is equal to the principal amount plus the simple interest. Since interest is equal to PRT, let us substitute PRT here. And then let us factor out the common factor, which is P. So we have F is equal to P times 1 plus RT, where F is the future or maturity value, P is the principal, R is the interest rate, should be in decimal, and T is the time or term that should be in years. Let us have this example. Jerry deposited 5,000 pesos in his account that offers 3.75% simple interest. Determine his total money after 9 months. So we have here 5,000 pesos, the amount of money that Jerry deposited. So 5,000 pesos is our P. The rate is 3.75%, 1, 2, so we have R is equal to 0 0.0375. Determine his total money, we are looking for the future value, so we are looking for F. After 9 months, so our T is 9 months. Convert this into year, so months and months will be cancelled out. 9 times 1 is 9, divided by 12 is 0 0.75. So our formula for F is P times the quantity 1 plus RT. Let us substitute our values here. Computing this, we have 5,140 pesos and 625 centavos.
Let's have one more. This pandemic caused losses for most of the businesses. Sachs takes out a simple interest loan of 100,000 pesos at a rate of 5.5% to rebuild his business. How much is the interest he needs to pay for this loan? And what will be the total repayment if the loan is for 6 years? So we have 100,000. This is our P. The rate is 5.5%, 1, 2, so this is 0 0.055. How much is the interest he needs to pay? So we are looking for the I sub S. And what will be the total repayment? So we are looking for the future amount, so we're looking for F as well. If the loan is for 6 years, so our T is 6. So our formula for I sub S is PRT. So we have... 100,000 times 0 0.055 times 6. And this is 33,000 pesos. Now for F, F is equal to P plus the interest. So we have 100,000 plus 33,000, 133,000 pesos. Now it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. <laughs> Let us answer. So we have here your mother borrows 50,000 pesos. So 50,000 pesos is our P. 7% simple interest rate, 1, 2. So R is 0 0.07. To be paid back in 3 years. So T is 3. How much interest? So we're looking for I sub S. Let's have our triangle. We're looking for I. So let us cover I. So I is equal to PRT. Let us substitute the values here. And this is equal to 10,500 pesos. Gets?